Hello everyone. Welcome back to Gauri Ram's Kitchen. Today we are going to see how to make wheat paratha and hundred starry style aloo capsicum buna masala. Before going to the video, if you are new to this channel, please do like, share and also subscribe to our channel. Also post your valuable comments below. Thank you. Let's knead the dough for wheat paratha. Take 2 cups of wheat flour and uh, add water according to the requirement of wheat flour. Now use your knuckles and press it gently until it becomes soft. Let's see the ingredients for making Amritsari style alu capsicum masala. Take 1 cup of potatoes. I have cut them into cubes like this. 1 cup of capsicum and uh, 10 pieces of garlic, small piece of ginger and 4 green chilies. I have crushed them using a grinding stone. Take 1 cup of tomato puree. Also take half cup of curd. Now let's start making it. Take a kadai, add oil to it. When the oil is hot, add the crushed ginger garlic and green chilli paste. Fry it well. Next, we are going to add chopped mint leaves. Along with that, add 1 cup of chopped onion. Next, put the tomato puree and fry it well until the raw smell of uh, tomato is gone take another kadai pour oil to it for tempering put jeera add the potatoes and fry it well until it becomes crisp when the oil gets separated put half teaspoon turmeric powder 1 teaspoon chilli powder 1 teaspoon garam masala powder and 1 teaspoon coriander powder required amount of salt and mix it well with the masala paste next add curd to it half cup of curd to the potatoes add required amount of salt and half teaspoon turmeric powder after that add half cup of capsicum fry it well next we are going to add half cup of chopped onion fry it well until the onion becomes transparent next we are going to mix the potatoes along with the tomato masala add one cup of water to this uh, tomato masala let the vegetables cook for 5 minutes in medium flame. Close it with the lid. After 5 minutes, you can see that our Amritsari style aloo capsicum buna masala is ready. At last, garnish it with coriander leaves. Now let's start making paratha. Roll the paratha in a similar way I am showing in the video. By doing like this, you will get a flaky, soft paratha. You can also follow this method while doing in maida flour. Apply ghee to the paratha. You can also use oil to it. After frying the paratha, crush it with your hands so that uh, it will become more flaky. I am going to show you the second method of making paratha. This is second method of making paratha. This is very easy for beginners. Just you have to use a knife and cut it like this. You can use the same method while making um, paratha in maida flour. Now after putting the paratha in tawa. Add oil to it and fry it in medium flame. 
now our wheat paratha is ready if you like this video please do like share and also subscribe to our channel thank you